Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Starting with the lecture number four on asphyxia. And the learning objectives of this lecture will be that from now onward, we will be discussing specific asphyxial deaths. And the learning objective of this video lecture will be I will discuss suffocation in detail, its definition and its types, which are mainly smoothing and overlaying. Then I will also discuss other mechanics causing suffocation like gagging, choking and burking. I will discuss smoothing also in detail in this lecture. It's occurrence, mechanism of death, autopsy findings of smoothing, specific and non-specific findings, then smoothing by plastic bags. The medical legal aspects of smoothing will be discussed and I will discuss overlaying in detail. The definition of overlaying, the medical legal aspects will be discussed and the autopsy findings. So starting with the topic of suffocation. Suffocation is defined as the mechanical obstruction to the passage of air into respiratory tract by means other than constriction of neck and drowning. So the entry of air into the respiratory passages is prevented by the occlusion or obstruction at the point of entry. And it is called as the purest form of asphyxia. And it results in a fairly rapid manner and causes painless loss of consciousness and followed by death. Its types are smoothing and overlay. There are other, there are other mechanics which will either cause smoothing or overlaying, but the cause or the mechanics will be different. That is gagging, choking and burking. So smoothing, smoothing, it is the closure of air passages externally, either by means of hands or by an, by an other soft material, by any soft material. Closure of the air passages. Then overlaying is it occurs in small children and overlaying by some other person, either the mother while feeding or any other person sleeping by the side of the child and overlays. The occurrence, it is usually accidental, maybe suicidal or homicidal. But accidental is the most common in overlaying, caught deaths in infants due to prone position, burial of the face in soft pillow, and plastic bags in children 
and in epileptics, they also bury their face and cause asphyxia. So usually it is accidental. Suicidal it is uncommon. And homicidal, uncommon in adults, only possible in feeble and intoxicated. So the mechanism of death, either there will be hypoxic, hypoxia, or anoxic anoxia. Now smoothing in detail we'll discuss. Smoothing is a form of asphyxia caused by mechanical occlusion of external respiratory passages like nose and mouth by means of hands, cloth, plastic bag, or any other material. The autopsy findings, the specific autopsy findings will be in homicidal smoothing, the abrasion, bruises are generally seen in the region of mouth and nose. They may be absent if the soft material or soft cloth is used. And injuries will be on the inside of the lips from pressure of the teeth and bruising of the gums will be there. So the pressure from outside on the lips against the gums will produce injuries on the inside of lips. And these injuries may routinely be missed at autopsy. So a careful internal examination of mouth should be a routine examination at autopsy. So this is the uh, bruised inner side of the lips. As the, these injuries are produced as a result of struggling, therefore, they may be absent in infants, young children, in elderly persons, and debilitated persons, weak persons. The air passages often contain blood tinged fluid. The non-specific pathological findings will be cyanosis, congestion, petechial hemorrhages. They will be found on skin and internal viscera. These are the petechial hemorrhages on face. <clears throat> then smoothing by plastic bags. The incidence of accidental obstruction of the airways by plastic bags has been increased recently. The moisture seals the respiratory orifices by the plastic bag. And this material contains a glue-like substance which can be detected in the blood and the liver. The medical legal aspects of smoothing. Smoothing is mostly accidental. It may occur in alcoholics who roll over and bury their faces in the pillow while in bed. Epileptics may also bury their face during a fit into some suffocating material. At birth, Newborn may die from smoothing if it is born with membranes covering the nose and mouth. This is an alcoholic burying his face into the pillow and later found dead because of asphyxia. Then overlaying. Overlaying is accidental smoothing of a child due to a mother or any other person rolling over it during sleep and thereby asphyxiating the child. 
it occurs sometimes when an inexperienced inexperienced girl mother presses the child too closely to the breast while feeding and she may asphyxiate her own child or smother her own child because of inexperience homicidal smothering may be committed by closing mouth and nostril with hand pillow or clothing it is a common method of infanticide then homicide smothering of adults is difficult unless they are weak or they are stupefied by drugs then the autopsy findings the specific pathological findings in overlying abrasion and bruising are, bruises are generally seen in the region of mouth and nose but they may be absent these injuries may be so trivial so minor that they can be missed at autopsy then regarding the non specific pathological finding they are the same which appear in all asphyxial deaths that is cyanosis congestion petechial hemorrhages they will be found on skin and internal viscera the medical legal aspects of overlaying mostly it is accidental no burking this is a form of asphyxia which was invented by two murderers brook and hare they used to kill their victims and sell their bodies for dissection to edinburgh medical school the brook used to sit on the chest of the inebriant victim and the hair used to cover with one hand and the mouth of the nostril and pushing the jaw with the other hand sometimes they used to drag the victim like wheelbarrow holding his feet mimic mimicking a road traffic accident because other injuries were created besides traumatic asphyxia created by sitting on the chest and with the hands closing the mouth and the nose smoothing so it was a mixed form of asphyxia caused by smoothing by placing the hands on the mouth and the nose and the traumatic asphyxia caused by sitting on the chest by the weight of the person the chest could not be moved and then later on they used to drag the victim like wheelbarrow so this method is a mixed example of smoothing and traumatic asphyxia these were two brothers brook and hair this is a diagrammatic representation how they used to did it so summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion with the specific asphyxial deaths and we have learned about suffocation in detail its definition types then the types are smoothing and overlaying and we have understood the mechanics of suffocation other mechanics of suffocation like gagging choking and burking then we discussed the smoothing in detail and we have understood its occurrence mechanism of death and specific and non specific findings at autopsy then i have discussed the smoothing by plastic bags and we have learned the medical legal aspects of smoothing 
and overlaying we have discussed in detail and we have learned the definition, medico legal aspects of the overlaying and autopsy findings. And I have also discussed what is what was birthing basically. Thank you very much. That's all about the lecture number four. And I will continue with the lecture number five. Take care. Allah bless.